We turn now to keeping our law enforcement safe. The FBI has seen a surge in threats against its agents following the recent search of former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate. And now lawmakers are asking big tech companies to step up and crack down on threats of violence against law enforcement. News Nation's Kelsey Kernstein breaking this down for us. Kelsey. Well, Natasha, lawmakers, they essentially say they're fed up with the threats against the FBI and other law enforcement agencies. They're seeing a huge uptick since the Mar-a-Lago raid. Now, two Democratic lawmakers, they are demanding eight social media companies, including Facebook's parent company, Meta and TikTok, hand over their data about how they are responding to these online threats. Now, the rise in threats against law enforcement comes after the FBI searched former President Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida sparking outrage and violence against the FBI. In fact, in Pennsylvania, a man was arrested for making death threats online against the FBI. In Cincinnati, an armed man is dead after trying to breach an FBI building. And in Phoenix, armed Trump protesters rallied outside of the FBI. Now, House Oversight Committee leaders Carolyn Maloney and of New York and Stephen Lynch of Massachusetts sent letters to eight social media platforms, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook's parent company Meta, Telegram, Truth Social, Rumble, Getter, and Gab, citing this intolerable behavior and some of the online threats, stating, violent rhetoric and personal threats and attacks towards law enforcement officers have deadly consequences. We urge you to take immediate action to address any threats of violence against law enforcement that appears on your company's platform. And three social media companies, they have responded to the House Oversight Committee's letter. Twitter, Telegram, and Gab. Twitter saying they are watching for violations of its policies. Telegram saying the company forbids calls to violence and they are being proactive to monitor such threats. And Natasha, ultimately, the lawmakers are asking the social media companies if laws need to be put in place to protect law enforcement personnel as well as increase coordination with federal authorities. Well, and Kelsey, meanwhile, there's also some new information tonight on keeping our elections secure. Uh, Meta just releasing a plan to combat election meddling ahead of the midterms. What do we know about that? Well, Natasha, I have been digging into that. And Meta says it's increased its spending and it's also ramped up its security measures to stop election interference. But critics fear, well, how much will this actually do? You will want to stay tuned because in the next hour, I will be breaking down what Meta is doing ahead of midterms. All right, Kelsey Kernstein, thank you so much for your reporting. There thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.